little wall of havoc here. So in our last episode, uh, we were continuing to work on the front of the ship and uh, just different odds and ends on the ship. We're coming along pretty good on it, I think. Today we're going to take uh, a moment and do work on something else. Um, in our Let's Play series that we guys do, I think we're up to 34 episodes on, uh, we're talking about going out and making uh, bases in orbit around planets. And uh, so we got Mars there. I think that's the alien planet over there. Where's Earth? I don't know. It's probably on the other side of the moon from us, but in any case, uh, there's something I really want to look at doing. Um, and I don't know how to go about it. And so I figure we tried here. I mean, this part of why we're going to be doing this little uh, playground area is so we can test different things. And I want to take a break from this guy and uh, I'm going to think about it while I'm moving and get some creative thought on how we want to continue to shape this thing. But in the interim, it allows me to work on uh, what I have envisioned. So, um, yeah, uh, off angles with square blocks don't work. Um, you, we can only build in 90 degree coordinates like that. So um, m what a goal is, is what I want to try to do is find a way to build in an off angle with square blocks. And I'm... I'm positive we got people out there that are probably going, hey, I've already done this, and I, I just haven't seen it, and I, I want to see if I can come up with something. So, okay, let's say we have a square platform. Um, one thing I do want to try to do with these uh, uh, orbital bases is I want to try to make them... Hey. I want to try to make them have a hole in the center that we will bring a ship up and down through. So let's say like this. Right? Okay, so we can have a, a lander come up and down through this. So I think that's kind of cool, but in order to give the ship uh, a little bit of shape, there's uh, a couple of things I want to try to do. For one, I put this on each corner. Oh, yeah, I should turn on mirroring. That would really help, I think. All right, so let's do this. Um, that'll fall if I do that. So you're the middle, right? So we want mirroring that direction and that direction. All right. So, all right, so we got those there, and now we can take all this out. There. So we put one here, and put one here. Okay, so it's not square. That's why we did what we did. Come on, move. Keyboard's being janky. And I just did what I thought I did. Ah, oh, dead nabbit. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, um, so how do I remove them? I don't know how to remove. I got an idea, because what's going on is it's m mirrored on that over there. Uh, this is kind of crappy. I don't have a lot of experience with this. I mean, I don't, not a lot of experience with... Uh, Alright, so good. We'll do that. I think I removed the mirror from that guy. I did. So we're going to have to re-mirror off of that ship when we start building again, but that's okay. So we go M, 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 remove. All right. Turn mirroring back on. All right, we're good. So I'm going to kill that. Delete this. Yes. 
Alright, come over here. G. And new station. Embed it in the rock so it doesn't fall over. There we go. Now let's try this again. So mirroring is going to be about this, right? Um, yes, but we're going to do this. So we have less of an opportunity of deleting things. So mirror that by that. Great. So I do want to go to here, come up, come up, let's go one more and we'll connect. Like so, and then we want these on the corners, like so. And then I want to use advanced rotors. I know this is going to sound crazy, guys, but um, actually we don't need you either. We want squares. We don't want any angled blocks in this. So we're going to use advanced rotors, and we put them all in. Oh, it's not going to work. Okay, so we need to put a block underneath each, which that will be fine like that. And then we're going to put this guy right here. Is he shooting at our stuff? Oh my god. Stop. You. Stop. You. Genius. <sighs> Only here, folks. Only here. Okay, owned by me, great. You're a dork, stop shooting at stuff. You know what? You're fired. No, you're ultra fired. At least our missile turret didn't start shooting. God, it's not, I mean, it's, uh, we were pretty close to where I wanted to start on the actual build. That really sucked. Um, let's see, all right. Let's put that back. Get rid of you. Where'd it go? Yeah, get rid of you too. Yeah, I mean, really? All right, that was pretty freaking crabby. All right, so let's repair. Um, all right, so let's put these back, get rid of you, come down here, extend over to hold the rotor, all right, right, okay, so, and then advanced rotors, like so. Okay, so each one of these was going to get a conveyor block, like so. And that doesn't work because they're separate ships now. All right. So the goal is, is I want them all to come down and merge with something in the middle. I want them all to rotate, let's say, 45 degrees, and rotate this one. So we want to do this, and then do this. I want these all to merge going in at 45 degrees, and then we'll be able to build off of these. And so we'll have two solidly square items all set from each other at 45 degrees, but we will literally be able to build I guess we could literally just build off of one piston or off of one rotor, but that's a little bit 
janky to have just one because it'll start to wobble and all kinds of things will happen. So, yeah, okay, let's see what happens. So, first of all, I want to put uh, G control panel. Let's put a little button. Uh, where are you, button? There you are. So, we'll slap this dude down. Okay. Advanced rotors. I want all of them to be maximum extension. Because I don't want any of them hitting here. So let's see how many spaces do we have. We have one there and one there. So if we take this off, take this off, then go G. Let's grab our merge block. Get a standard one because the other one is for uh, small ships. So we want to put a block and then a merge block. I don't think that's going to be enough. So, all right, let's uh, try rotating. It's going to be the last ro rotor is going to be the... So it's currently at 360 degrees. So cancel. What are you at? You're at 361. So let's just, I guess, just do this one to 45 and see what happens. Confirm. Reverse. Wait, we need power on this thing. Durr. But we're in creative, so it doesn't matter. We just do that, and there's power. Okay, advanced rotor, uh, breaking force velocity, 0.25, there we go. Alright, so that's obviously not going to be close enough. We really would like to use a piston for this to get it to where it lines up exact. So maybe we have to do... Where are you, dude? Can we get into you somehow? No. So that just went on by. Let's see, where is it at? So, K, okay, advance 9. So let's go with 420 degrees instead. Is that an option? Is that is that a thing? Okay, so velocity. Okay, okay stop, dude. <laughs> reverse, 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 reverse. Stop. Reverse. Okay, so I missed by a lot. That's fine. So I want to start rotating this guy. We need to figure out which one it is. So you... Who's turning? All right, that's you. Let's try you next. Okay, that was a fail. I think it's gonna be this one, right? Now it's gonna be this one. So velocity to go. All right, cool, that was the right one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this guy over and hopefully it's enough that they'll join up. So I have nine. And 
25? Sure. Ooh, it got, uh, I want the torque really low, I think. How close is this? Oh, super close. They're not going to touch. This sucks. This is that's kind of what I wanted to do is have these all join up in a pattern and then uh, build a structure. Because once we get these all joined up, we can build across it and then take the center back out. Um, yeah, see, it's, it's so close, but it's not enough to work. So what if we take you off? And I don't think we have what we're going to want. None of this is going to work the way we want it to. Because it takes up a full block. Although it's only half a block, so that doesn't work. Uh, there's a conveyor that does it. There's that half a tube conveyor. But I think that's only for small ships. This guy. Yep, see, small ship only. Small ship only. Small ship only. All these are small ship only. Yeah, this isn't going to work. Holy crap. This is not fun. Small ship only, yeah. So I literally would have to use a piston. Well, the problem is, is even still, I don't think that... Uh, so yeah, even then, I don't think a cross is going to work. So we literally would have to start off with a off-direction merge block. To begin with, we're gonna have to build from one corner, and man. Well, if you guys can think of, well, I mean, you guys obviously see where I'm going with this is you know, joining these up in a cross pattern and building all 45s off of these blocks. So, if you guys have an idea on how to go about doing this, I said I just had an idea to try this and just wanted to give it a go. Um, Let's see what happens if we do this. Hold on. And we'll throw five on you. And on you. Get rid of you and get rid of you so they don't slam into each other. So that goes pretty much in the middle. I think that's too much. So you're three blocks and you're two blocks plus one. All right, so we need to slow uh, that other uh, rotor down. Uh, I think you're rotor nine or seven. So let's get rid of your torque. We drastically reduce it. And turn up your braking force. And drop your velocity to one. Oh, this is the wrong one. This is the one that's over our left shoulder. Velocity. Where is your velocity at? Uh, your velocity is at one. We turn up your braking force a lot. Wait, what just happened? Did it literally just break? That was weird. What had just happened? Okay. I can't see. I'm going to get my head hit. Yep. There we go. Alright, so okay. Now what I want to do is I want to watch that guy. And when he gets to where we need to, we need to turn off his velocity. So velocity... 
this to zero. Wait for it. No, 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 don't hit me, don't hit me. Oh, crap. All right, we got to still got a pretty good view. All right, right about... Wait for it. Right, let's try right here. All right, good. That looks pretty good, actually. All right, so let's see what happens when this comes around. And we want to turn off his torque and his braking, I think. It's okay, here. That didn't work. Okay, so torque is to none. Braking is none. And K, okay, this guy. Velocity. Zero. Just enough to cause it to be an issue. I mean, you almost have to put a, another rotor here to offset like we did here to do the little displacement. But then the blocks won't line up. So, so this is obviously not going to work. I mean... by this much. Swing and a miss. All right, so that kind of sucks. All right, so the idea for this off angle structure is definitely going to be a no-go. So I'm gonna continue to look at a little couple of uh, things to do here, see what you guys think. Um, for sure, I like the idea of a lander coming up and down through the middle. So we'll have, let's clean that up a little bit, one more. Okay. So this would obviously not, this underneath structure would not be here. And this thing's going to be positioned directly. Um, wait, let's go like this. Down here. So we'd be able to look up and see it up above in theory and we would have something like this on the surface that would catch our lander and then something in orbit that will catch it as it goes up so this would be a little bit bigger I wanted to have it to be you know uh, big enough to carry a large cargo container or two let's see let's go G so bigger well yeah that's just big enough so it'd be one obviously one block bigger Oh, see, that's why I put those extra connectors in, in case I did something stupid like that. Um, obviously, one block bigger than this because that's exact fit, and that's yeah, we're we're not that good of pilots. And then, um, and then we'll have like landing gear positioned on the sides. So if we come in and did something like this. Uh, we need to put something here. And then put this guy here. So like that. So when we come up and land, we'll be able to lock in the lander. We'll have uh, connectors on the sides to offload or load whichever direction we're sending supplies. And... Uh, yeah, we can launch it and just basically drop it straight back down. Um, I learned in uh, a multiplayer world that you cannot just drop a lander. You literally have to use gyros and thrusters in all directions to maintain you going in a straight line down. I did not anticipate that. So it was pretty interesting. I dropped something. I went straight up, placed the base straight up above me. And then when I dropped something back into orbit, it went adrift. I ended up being about 5,000 kilometers, like way far away from where it should have landed. It was literally hovering sideways. So, yeah, so a little bit of uh, trial and error for sure will happen with this. So then we can cool. So just uh, something to food for thought when we're building. So connector... Let's 
Let's see. We can do something like this. The little cool multi-block conveyor. So something like that and rotate them up in the middle. Split like that. So then we have multi-block conveyors. Go back to seven. Something like that. Actually, I think it's the other way around. It's two to one. But yeah, we can put all kinds of really cool stuff. And then we have these new tube mods, conveyor, these ones. These things are fantastic. They look awesome. They have a T-junction, which I don't understand why there's not a T-junction in vanilla. I mean, it forces you to use a conveyor block, and I just don't like it. And then we got this mod pack where it adds, like, compact versions and stuff like that. It's pretty awesome. We could use these. They're pretty pretty uh, thinning and they give you lots of different options like you know you can go put one straight one left one right so you can uh, route things different directions um, let's do that real quick get rid of you get rid of you put you back um, so it's a straight and that's a 90 so there we go only available for small ships so it wouldn't work on this obviously but we're still going to play around with it so you you Seven, like this. That would be my phone making noise at a very inappropriate time. So you can go like that guy goes straight, so you can pipe into something else, and then you can do this guy here. That goes off at that angle, and that goes off at that angle. It's a pretty slick little setup, and then you can literally 90 off again go a different direction like that so now it's literally turned 90 degrees and going back into itself so yeah these are really awesome I like this mod I need to play with it a little bit more get a little bit better understanding because there's a compacting one I believe it's for um, putting uh, uh, large items through small tubes which we're, you're not supposed to be able to do but I think they add it but um, so I think this is the gonna be the basis for our planetary orbiter I mean the, literally the basic um, then we're gonna obviously need some ion thrusters on it to keep it in place so we're gonna end up doing something like this like that and then like that so it doesn't go adrift uh, because well they do they don't stand still anymore something I don't really like I mean it's Something we're, you know, it's, we've been taking for granted for a long time that station blocks don't move once you put them down. But now, they do. I was building again in, in a uh, server world and nudged my, my station by accident because I had not built one since. Because we've been planet locked for so long. And it went adrift. And the other players on the server like, uh, duh, Havoc. Uh, you uh, kind of need to bolt that thing down somehow. So eventually, you know, its mass will be greater than the ship's docking to it, in theory. But when it's like this, and you're bringing that guy up to dock, it's like, this guy's going to tug this thing all over the place. So, yeah. But once we start building larger extensions and solar panels and array uh, battery arrays and all kinds of other stuff, then we'll be fine. But for the most part, it's here for this guy for to come up and down and uh, get supplies relayed from the planet. Because he's not going planet side, and neither is long haul in our uh, Let's Play series. So speaking of the Let's Play series, and uh, this series also, um, I'm going to be moving, for those of you guys who missed the uh, Let's Play series yesterday, um, I'm going to be offline for about a week. Um, it could be a little bit longer, it could be a little bit shorter, but in either case, I just want to let you all know that this is coming, and I mentioned it a few times. What do you got over there? Oh, antennas and beacons. But, um, so yeah, you guys can go over, hit me up on Twitter, and uh, drop me lines there. I have Twitter running nonstop. And then, um, also, you guys can leave comments on your videos. This is really awesome getting comments. And thumbs up are really appreciated. The likes on the videos. I think uh, last video is like, probably one of my most liked videos now. So, keep them coming. I, uh, it gets me more subscribers and makes me want to make more videos. So, yeah, once I get set up at my new place, then uh, 
who knows but there might be more content in the in the works so keep those thumbs up coming keep the comments coming let me know if you, you guys like about my uh orbital idea so yeah thanks so much for watching everybody this is havoc have fun see you in about a week or so and keep gaming